There's something that happened Friday evening that nobody is reporting or really talking about. Whatever the reason is, I have no idea what it could be, but that's partly why this channel is here, to talk about and alert you of things you may have never otherwise knew about. To start off, the Cleveland Guardians are a team that probably shouldn't be slept on. They're pretty good and actually have been pretty quietly decent all season long, but they're finally starting to show some real life. Ever since Francisco Lindor was traded, Cleveland is a team that hasn't really been talked about at all, and it's not like it wasn't warranted. In their very last year as the Indians, and also their first year after trading Francisco Lindor, Cleveland finished 80 and 82, which is of course the definition of mediocre. They weren't a bad team, they just simply weren't that good. With that being said, it's baseball. Anything can happen, and the Guardians had potential. Newly extended Jose Ramirez has had a terrific year so far at the plate, and is showing that he's worth every cent of a deal that he got. A deal that was actually less than what he's worth, but J-Ram decided to take a pay cut to stay loyal and stay put in Cleveland. Leading up to Friday night's game, Cleveland had won 9 of their last 12 and we're just three games back of the first place Minnesota Twins. Now, don't misquote me here. I'm not saying the Guardians are coming for the division and will undoubtedly make the postseason, but with the extended postseason format where one extra team from each league now makes it, plus the talent that the Guardians have to begin with, don't sleep on them. That's all I'll say. So going into Friday night's game, the second of four against the Oakland A's, Cleveland was kind of riding high, but through the first eight innings, nothing was getting done by the offense. Meanwhile, the A's hit a couple of solo homers in the first and second to take a 2-0 lead in the bottom of the ninth inning. Watching this game myself, I honestly had a feeling that the Guardians were at the very least going to make things interesting, if not win the game. Lo and behold, Jose Ramirez, who was leading off the ninth, would smack a home run into the right field stands to cut the lead in half. The next hitter up, Josh Naylor, would then work a walk. An Oscar Gonzalez double down the left field line with pinch runner Oscar Mercado just getting back into third safely. An intentional walk would load the bases, a sacrifice fly would tie the game, with an infield single reloading the bases for Luke Maley to hit a fly ball in the right field to bring home the winning run, walking off the A's, and winning 10 of their last 13. Everything seemed fine as the Guardians celebrated, that is until some jawing started coming from both sides, the A's dugout and from the Guardians. There was absolutely no context to this whatsoever, so we were all confused. But not anymore, thanks to a fan who was at the game and just so happened to capture on camera what exactly went down. Immediately after the winning run ran into score, Miles Straw started to celebrate and run toward the Guardians celebration mob, only to fall face first into the ground. He was tripped, and it's pretty clear in this video as you can clearly see how it all goes down right here. Now the question of the day, was it on purpose? It sure looks like it. If it wasn't on purpose, the pitcher probably would have instantly tried to help him up and say he was sorry. And Straw honestly would have probably also been like, it's fine, I appreciate it, who cares, let's move on. But when you don't do any of that, start to walk away nonchalantly and seemingly look down at Straw who fell to the ground because of you, yeah, it seems to be on purpose. Maybe it wasn't, but the body language on Sam Maul sure didn't seem like he was sorry about it. And it'll be interesting to see if this escalates at all this weekend. Let me know if you think this was a purposeful trip or not, and thank you for watching.